Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we're going to create application services with the help of containers. So to do that, you can go to the app services and click on add. And this time we would be creating a new resource group called a uh, container demo web apps and I can give you any name that I wanted to create my web app so in this case I just wanted to go for example Maddy uh, example so if this name is already taken zero one example so this is going to be my web app name and here instead of the code uh, all this time we actually created with the code now we are selecting docker container and the environment I'm going to choose as Linux uh, and I wanted to uh, use in a different region altogether let's see I wanted in uh, West US 2 and uh, the servicing plan also to be created app service plan so there's no change in the app service plans or other concepts except it is actually creating inside the docker container the application that's only change and uh, we can uh, create here the SKU and the size again uh, spec uh, picker would take care of the sizing recommendation so I don't want to go for the premium because it's too expensive instead I just wanted to go for a similar one S1 so I can select the S1 plan uh, which would be at least $70 close to per month and uh, I can select as a docker and this is where I have to create again uh, docker images so I wanted to use the docker quick start or maybe container or registry or docker hub or private registry I can choose any of them the image that's a base uh, image which needs to be uh, available for the docker service to run on top of it it's going to install the email uh, the web applications and i can use the nginx uh, web server default site that's okay and uh, click on monitoring uh, this is where i'm going to choose the application insights if really needed but that's not supported because it's uh, out of the operating system supported that's linux and click on uh, next uh, and that would actually go ahead and uh, review for us and click on create that would actually create so this would actually create for us a web application on a docker container now this specific app is created let's go to the resource and have a look on this looks very similar and uh, you can use uh, or you can grant it uh, the permissions or you can give it to the access to your devops guys and they can actually work on this application for deployment uh, from the deployment center they would be pushing the code and they can work on it and it's very similar and there's no much difference in terms of the uh, application uh, application configuration or networking configuration or domain or TLS or SSL all these configurations are very similar and you can um, Give it to your application developers so that they can work uh, from here on 